Oh. Hello friends, Sentinel H here and welcome back to our Civ 6 German Mega City. So in the last episode, our war with Scythia ended because she asked for peace and gave me basically all the, the uh, luxuries that she had uh, in exchange for it. Uh, so uh, it was a really good deal, so I took it. Because obviously, you know, if we, we don't want to be at war if we don't have to be at war. Urbanization. Grow a city to 15. Uh, unfortunately, no, we're nowhere near it. We haven't really kept up on population growth because of our housing crisis. A bit of a problem. Uh, we could go for natural history and unlock the antiquity sites. Um, but we don't have any theaters yet. So we don't actually have any uh, museums. Um, I say that we're going to we need to get urbanization so that the neighborhoods can uh, fix my housing issues um, to be really nice to do and they don't require they don't require hopefully we have some breathtaking tiles I don't really know if we do but uh, we're gonna research urbanization we're gonna claim a great person it is indeed the great engineer Gustav Eiffel and uh, we are gonna immediately use well we can't use him till uh, Where's he got, we got to put him on the rear valley. Hopefully, I can still use it. And he, we're gonna rush it. And uh, now it's only got five turns. And we're gonna rush it again. I just, I want to get it really quickly. I can't. Well, let me check the technology. The rear valley is back here. Yeah, uh, Rome or Scythia could go ahead and get the rear valley. And uh, I, well, these guys could too. So I really don't want them to. So we're going to rush it again because I don't want to lose it because now that we don't get all of that uh, adjacency bonuses, the River Valley is actually really, really good. Okay, so we're up here in Geneva. Uh, Geneva can build another uh, district or get a stock exchange. And we are going to have Geneva build us. Uh, and now we, the uh, amenities from these uh, entertainment districts, districts also work the same way. These do not stack. So really, we only need the, the one entertainment district in the middle to provide that amenities bonus to our other cities. Now obviously, if we needed more amenities, we could always build more, but they would only affect the city they're built in. That's very unfortunate, but I can understand why. If you could chain adjacency that much, uh, it would be really powerful. That's why I started doing it. <laughs> oh, I'd really love to get Big Ben. Where can I put it? Right there? They are working that tile, but there's another tile just like it up there that they could work. And if I do that, I could then put the theater district here and it would be adjacent to a, uh, a wonder and it would get a, an adjacency bonus. Actually, I'd probably put it there. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and try and build Big Ben because Big Ben is awesome. Uh, although like, the stock exchange would give me a ton of gold in only three turns. Let's build the stock exchange first. It's the more practical option. Then we'll build Big Ben. And actually, instead of rushing the Ruhr Valley again, maybe we'll send Gustav Eiffel over there to uh, to rush Big Ben once. Um, okay, this is Magdeburg's uh, dude, so we're going to send it to wherever it gets the most production, which is, of course, Aachen. So we'll send it to Aachen. Magdeburg growing in one turn. These internal trade routes are, are what's really allowing my cities to grow as quickly as they are. The new ones, anyway. The new ones are growing very quickly because of that. I, I want this diamond tile. Um, they're not even working that rice, so I don't think that I really need to uh, improve it. Let's buy this diamond tile. We'll make the money up in one turn. And we'll send this guy over there. Now, Scythia might be mad at me for buying that tile, but that's my tile, Scythia. I don't care if it's close to you. Okay, this builder... I finally got control of him again. Like, why did it take so long? Okay, let's check on Ulm. Let's see what they're working. And then improve those tiles. So, they are working this hill right here. So, let's just go ahead... And we could build a mine on it. Or we could build a lumber mill on this woods tile, which I probably will do. And there's the Jerusalem guys up here. Our missionary is sort of acting as a scout. I should make a scout. Oh, I should stop researching flight because we'll get it when the Ruhr Valley completes. I've, uh, I've wasted some... Oh man, I've wasted a lot. So 
it's not worth it anymore. One turn and we'll get flight. So I'm terrible at that. I'm terrible at remembering to do that. I'll send Eiffel over there. I am absolutely horrendous at remembering. We're definitely going to beat him to uh, James Watt. Builds factory and workshop in a, a new district, provides plus two production. Uh, yeah, so uh, very good. And we can get this guy right now, the toys. John Spilsbury. So now we get that um, unique toys uh, luxury. So let's see, we currently have five amenities in Aachen. I don't think Aachen's going to gain another one. Still five. Actually, I think it takes till next turn to do it. So, you know, all these amenities, the cities that have the least number of them, we have a lot of amenities, dude. Like, we have a lot of amenities. I can get... Charles Darwin as well. I don't really like Darwin. Um, and I actually don't think I've, I've found any natural wonders except for the Cliffs of Dover. So I'd get 1,000 science by standing him here. Um, I haven't found any other ones. I don't think you can get any more than two... I don't think it's possible to get more than a thousand out of uh, out of Darwin, but you know it's just a one-time boost. I'm 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 considering passing on Darwin. Um, passing costs forty-two points. The points spent will apply as a discount to the great person, allowing other players to acquire it for less points. I am con I'm tempted to pass on him, but we're not going to. We're just going to take all of them because. I gain a lot more great scientist points than these other guys. She's getting 9, although she is getting close to getting him. I'm getting 15.9. Eureka moments from Kent. See, I'd, I'd like to have him, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens indeed. Yeah, I am going to get James Watt, although J losing James Watt would not be a big problem for me. All right, we're just going to uh, fortify these dudes and leave them. So we need to stand him next to a natural wonder. So we need to send him uh, over here. He has to go through the water because he can't walk through China. Hopefully he can make it there. Oh, China's building the uh, Colossus. I don't really know like who the best great people are. So that's an issue. Wait a second, what? Ugh, Cynthia keeps sending apostles at me. I need to start spending my faith. What the heck am I doing anyway? Nothing you can buy for faith there. Nothing I can buy for faith there. nothing there either yeah we need to get I need to get myself some uh, fossils going on here we need to see if my apostles can defeat her apostles whoa nope We'll take our units a bit further away from the border just to make her a little uh, less paranoid about it. Plus three production for the mine. Lumber mill adds plus one. Mine that. Plus four production. Super sweet. This missionary. But as I headed into the heart of New Zealand's fjord, hey. that same childlike feeling, long lost, a pure, unadulterated awe, came rushing back. I knew the road to Milford Sound was good, but this good? Okay. Pio Pio Tali. Three tile impassable natural wonder provides plus one culture and plus one gold to adjacent tiles. 
be a great place for a city next to the Pio Pio Tali. We get uh, silver and it would be, well, it's a lot of desert and uh, actually it's a lot more desert than Magdenburg had. So if we were going to build cities in a normal fashion, we would have built the Petra on this one. But, you know, Magdenburg's got enough desert here that I thought the Petra would be useful. Could build a city up here, though. I won't do it, but because uh, we're doing the mega city, but, you know, it was always a possibility. Magdeburg is currently working this woods tile, so we're going to go and prove it with a lumber mill. Um, what else could we use as far as uh, builders? Um, let's get ourselves another builder down here in, in Mainz. Uh, they're working these two tiles. We could put a mines on them. Let's buy ourselves a builder. Nice and cheap. Uh, Jerusalem wants me to recruit a great general. The chances of that happening are uh, zero. Which unfortunately means that uh, Rome might gain a... Uh Get your Shinto out of here. For once you have tasted flight. Too bad I can't have like flying apostles. Like, see, my apostles would actually lose in a one-on-one -on -one fight with hit with her apostles, so. I basically just have to have more Apostles. Could actually evangelize beliefs. So yeah, we're going to see if we can't defeat her Apostles, but it's going to be uh, tough. Because we don't like that she's uh, trying to convert me to Shinto. We want to keep our Zoroastrianism. So... Um, we're going to put our commercial hub right there, uh, so it's not going to benefit from anything. I wanted to put it there because it would benefit from the river, so that would give us some more gold, but the Ruhr Valley was such a big boost to Aachen. Someone in the comments helped me figure out how big of a boost that we couldn't justify not building it. Huh, Lone St. Michelle could actually go right there. Apostles you g create gain the martyr ability. Uh, once you built on Floodbrains and Marsh. I mean, Mont Saint Michel is nice for religion. We could build an aerodrome for here. I think what we need to do first is build a. Let's see. If we build a commercial hub, this has to get to 10 before we get another uh, camp. Actually, no, this hasn't built a holy site yet. I could build a holy site directly underneath my uh, my dude here and uh, allow him to heal. That's the thing, when you're fighting in your holy sites. Oh, yeah, I, want, I need to build an uh, aqueduct here. Do we lose three food or do we lose two food and a production? I don't want to lose a production, but we got to build an aqueduct. we got to build it there. I want to put a thing there. Do they need this food? They probably do. We're running... What's what's our... Well, we're running a six food surplus, so technically they could lose that food and be fine. They wouldn't grow as quickly. Well, they can be fine. They won't go into a starvation just because I took out that, that marsh. Okay, so... Complete a research agreement. I'm never going to do that anyway, so let's get chemistry. These aren't going to give us anything useful. Well, I kind of want a recon unit. That's going to take a long time. We have to do it anyway to get steel, and I really want the Eiffel Tower. So let's just go ahead and do it. We don't have two forts, so we're not going to boost ballistics. Alright, we can build the amphitheater. We're going to do that. Because Ulm still has housing. Uh, it doesn't need a, a sewer desperately. Like these other ones did. We're going to build 
Um, we don't really need another amenity here, but, you know, it'd be nice to get more amenities. But uh, before we do that, 20% science in this city awards two randomly chosen free technologies when completed. Must be built on grasslands or plains. 15 turns. It can go right there. It's not being worked. Let's see. We're getting 21 science out of here. Obviously, it would be, be better to build it in a city that's producing more science. Yeah, Frankfurt, other than Aachen, which can't build it because it's not got enough room, Frankfurt is our most science-producing city. So let's go ahead and build Oxford University. And I know I sent Gustav Eiffel over there to boost Big Ben. But I think I might actually want to boost Oxford instead. Let's wait. To decide what we want to do. Okay, builder. He wants us to build farms. I mean, I know why. You know, now that we did that, Mainz food surplus is going down to three, but it's still going to have a food surplus. The game really likes us to build farms. Now, if we build two farms next to each other, it is going to provide a benefit. So we could put farm here, farm here, but we don't really need it yet. Like, we're not desperate for for food yet. And our internal trade routes can definitely uh, provide uh, some additional food. In fact, if I, if I get this cattle over here, we could get some... Uh, some extra food. I like buying tiles. Do do. Now that I have the income to just eat the cost because we get it back immediately. I'm going to skip Gustav Eiffel. We need to figure out what we want to do with him. Do I want to boost Oxford University, or do I want to boost Big Ben? Money or science, just to make sure I get it. Let's see how long it's going to take Big ben Geneva to build the Big Ben. Some theological combat going on. See, this is why I didn't want. Wait, what? Okay, that was a problem. I didn't expect him to die that quickly. Well, that cost me. Uh. Yeah, he's just gonna die. Wow, because that Apostle is really strong. Plus 20 strength. How do you get that? Um, yeah, I don't want this. If, if It's better that we don't lose apostles because that, you know, hurts our religion a lot. Let's just event. Let's just get rid of our apostle. Use them to evangelize so that they can't kill him off. Let's see. This is the last one. Um, plus one gold for every four followers. That gives some more gold. Uh, each campus or commercial hub district in a city following this relation with plus one science or plus one gold. That is awesome. So I don't know if that kicks in immediately. I think it might take another turn to kick in, but that's going to provide that's going to provide an extra uh, science and gold for each of our cities. That's why we, another reason we have to keep them following our religion. Wow, this, Geneva can build Mont Saint Michel in seven turns. really good. Uh, Big Ben in 15 turns. Do, do, do. Or a theater square in three to get some more culture. That's the question really, isn't it? Uh, what's been Big Ben? 14 turns for that. 12 more turns for Oxford. Yeah, let's use Eiffel to boost this. Down to 10. Okay. All right, so do we want an archaeological museum or do we want an art museum? I think we want an archaeological museum. I don't 
I don't have any great works of art, but if I get the archaeology, I can start getting uh, those things. All right, so let's get an archaeological museum going. So that was fun. We lost our apostle in theological combat, which wasn't good. But uh, other than that, we're uh, we're doing well. Let's build a theater over here, and uh, we'll build it right here to gain this little extra. That's not a, th a thing, is it? Nope. It's just a just a two thing tile. We'll put it here again. Plus one. Actually. See, there's nothing. There's nothing around here to get to adjacent adjacent ties. Um, if we put it here, it could benefit the c commercial district, which would actually be kind of nice. Uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that now. Before we end this episode, because the episode's over now, I do want to mention one thing. Uh, the way that I've built this now, because of the nerf to uh, these regional building adjacencies, this is completely suboptimal now. Um, the Hansa gains additional production for being near resources, which means that instead of placing it there so that it gave adjacency to these other cities, which it no longer does, I would want to place that Hansa uh, most likely right here to gain adjacency from these but it also works on bonus resources like this like these rice uh here so putting it right there um would have gain it, given it plus two and, and plus a point five so let's go ahead and build that more diamonds so basically the mega city is still a viable tactic i think but you now have to place your hansas and uh where they make the most sense as far as gaining adjacency to resources so like right here would have gained plus two or uh, right here would have gained plus two and um, right here or over here in Aachen uh, this is actually the still the best place to put it oh this one belongs to Ulm between these two rices uh, or right here no yeah and it's next to this um, stones so that would have been a plus three this one's getting plus three right now so so basically, that's the changes that's been made. This Hansa is in a very good spot to benefit from these, but this Hansa is only benefiting from the one rice, and this Hansa is benefiting from the niter, thankfully, so it is benefiting from that. And this one's not benefiting from... Well, it is from the stone. So anyway, that's the changes that have been made, so uh, it's a bit frustrating, but, you know, you do what you gotta do. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for future episodes. Uh, don't forget to like and comment down below if you enjoyed the video. Join our Discord if you're interested. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.